He's alive. Yes, he sure is. And he lives forevermore. Wow, ain't that just powerful? Amen. All right, let's check another one real quick because right here in a minute we're going to open the phone lines up for live calls. Amen. Amen. So be blessed. In Jesus' name, my friends, be blessed because it, it's good, I'm telling you. Hello, Brother Eddie. God bless you and have a nice day. This is uh, Brother Boyd London. I've been praying and Jesus wanted me to call in and read a scripture here. There's someone that needs to hear this. And I just want people to know that when you turn your heart and life over to Jesus, you can crucify the sinful nature. You can get sin out of your life. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. You can overcome drug use, pornography, uh, hatred, jealousy, lying, cursing, fits of rage, all those sins. You can walk in the Spirit and overcome those. Let me read this. This is... Uh, Galatians 5.16, walking in the Spirit. I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. See, the flesh lusts. The flesh wants all those things. That's why we have to have Jesus and the Holy Spirit and God come into our lives. And that Spirit and power and the love of God sets us free from those sins. The Spirit of God comes in there and gets the desires of flesh out of our lives and helps us to live for Jesus instead of having those sinful things in our life. I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. For these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. See, we have to let the Spirit lead us. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousness, outbirds of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, rivalries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in past, in the past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law, and those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires, and we live in the Spirit. Let us also walk in the Spirit. So let's let the Spirit of God come into our hearts and lives. Let's let Jesus come into our hearts and lives and drive those sins out of there. To say no to sin, to do good, and to live for Jesus instead. Jesus promises you will know the truth and the truth will let you set you free. Let Jesus come into your heart and life. Let the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, come into your heart and life. And you will be able to crucify those sins and live for Jesus and say no to those sins. The devil will flee and those sins will no longer control you and tempt you. I love you all and God bless you. Jesus is good. God is good. Jesus will help us all overcome. Amen. Forsaken alone, deep in despair. As the gentle wind sway, the light in the forest will show you the way. Forest. 
Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Thank you, each and every one, for your yes. calls. We got a few more before we can open the phone lines up to receive live calls. Praise so Lord. give this a listen and be blessed yes. in Jesus' be name. Blessed. Brother Randy, this is uh, Sister Bonita from Pipewell, Kentucky, and I just called to say hi and uh, thank the Lord for this day and thank the Lord for things that he's done for me, and uh, the Lord's been blessing me, and uh, I wanted to, you know, tell you, you know, I appreciate you all uh, praying for me and stuff and keep me in your prayers, <coughs> and uh, I been uh, aimed to call in on your program and stuff, and, you know, the Lord's been good to me, and I just wanted to glorify his name, you know, lift him up. He said, if he was lifted up, if he said, if I be lifted up, then I'll draw all men unto me. So, you know, if we lift up the name of Jesus, he'll, he'll draw people in. We won't, we don't, we can't lift our own selves up, but we have to lift him up. And, and he said, where, you know, where the Spirit of the Lord is, you know, uh, the, there's liberty, there's freedom in serving God. God's not a binding God, so I thank Him for being a free God. You know, He loves. He don't care what color we are. He don't care what denomination we are. That you know, there's no denomination in the Lord. It's it's we're either His or we're not. So I praise the Lord for that. You know, He's a God. He's an on time God. He comes right on time. You know, we may think sometimes He's late, but he comes right on time. He's right when we need our blessings or when we need our prayer answered or whatever. And he's he's really, you know, he's awesome. That's the only thing I can say. My God is awesome. And, and uh, you know, I I can't get on there to get your program, but, I, you know, I've talked with Brother Philip and them and those children and little blessed children, and they gave me that number to call. And, uh, you know, uh if you ever want to get a hold of me or something, it's four two four one seven six four six zero six area code. So I just uh, wanted to let you know I, you know, support you in what you're doing, and maybe we'll all get together and have church down here in the city park. I tell you what, it's it's a blessing to you know be a part of the ministry of God. You know, we can get together and and do something for the Lord. You know. But times are a winding down, you know, the days are short and we're we ain't got I'm gonna promise it tomorrow. <clears throat> so people he said, Work while it's day for when the night cometh, no man worketh, you know, when the light of God, the spirit of God is is not around no more to work you, you can't do no work. It's night time, you know, it's dark and darkness sits in. So we gotta do what we're gonna do for the Lord and we gotta watch. He said in the earth that we think oh, that's when the Son of Man cometh. He said, be ready. You know, that's the main important thing. He, a lot of people say, well, is he going to come before the tribulation, during the tribulation? Amen. She ran out of time. She didn't know. She just had about three minutes, but she'll learn. Oh, yes. Amen. And, and I'm looking forward to her next call. Amen. Amen. I remember Sister Bonita from Lord, we're talking 15, 20 years ago. Me and Brother Philip, I mean, me, yeah, me, Brother Philip Williamson, and uh, Brother Paul Sisko with Brother Roy Blevins and, and, and many others went over there to Pikeful in Pikeville, Kentucky, at the city park that she mentioned, and we, we we just had church, brother. And that's where they told us they'd kill us. And uh, they actually came out in hooded, uh, well, I'm telling you, I looked into the face of one and seen no face. Uh, uh, one walked up and, and spit on me and said, if you preach here, we're going to cut your head off like we did John the Baptist. And when I looked up, to see who was talking to me because they spit on my well it hit me right in the belly area and and I looked down and when I looked up and this hooded thing was standing there but there was no face brother it was a black empty hole and uh, we rebuked it and, and we had church 
Yeah, rebuke that old devil. We rebuked it, and we had church. And uh, the next night, Bonita was with us, and Brother Philip, and many more men. They come out, and it was uh, like a gang, and they would they were they were on skateboards, and we would be having church, and they would just skate around, and we went out there, and Sister Bonita and her mother, and a bunch of us, and we just anointed that park. We put anointing oil everywhere we could. Now I'm telling you, buddy, we was in we was on the battlefield that day for Jesus. Amen. And souls were won right there at that city park. Amen. Uh, God is God everywhere, ain't That's he? Right. Ain't that he awesome? <laughs> Praise God. So I'm looking forward to uh getting to be back in you know, in that area maybe just as soon as the Lord put the burn on me to go. You know how I am. I'm like you, Brother Monroe. That's right. I just show up. <laughs> yeah, I show Amen. up and show out for Jesus. That's what I do. You know, that's uh, what we've got to do. If God <laughs> says Amen. go, go. Don't sit around. Amen. 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 <laughs> Praise God. All right. Let me jump over here. And while we're there, we're going to check the phone again. Amen. We've, we've, uh, as soon as we run out of uh, these uh, calls that were called in to share testimonies, we will open the phone line for live calls. Uh, God, if he puts it on your heart tonight in a, in a few minutes to call in live, we want you to obey God. Amen. We'll only give you an opportunity to do that. Amen. But right now. You, if he puts that burning in their heart, they better do it or they ain't going to be able to sleep, eat, or do nothing, brother. Hey, they'll be just like I was. They'll be miserable. Amen. All right. Let's give this one a listen and uh, just be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, brother, this is the Apostle Mike from down here in Mississippi. Uh, I, I had the urge to call in and pray for that woman over the phone. Uh, so let's just jump right into that. Dear Heavenly Fathers, we come to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, asking you to forgive us of our sins and we'll repel you. Father God, you said in your word, we're any two or three gathered together, touching and agreeing on any one thing they could have the petition they ask. Father, for Kathleen Keys, Lord, we come to you. We bring her before the throne of thy grace, Lord. Father, they have diagnosed her with the fast-moving breast cancer. Father, we rebuke that cancer right now in the name of Jesus. We command it to dry up at the roots. Satan, you have to turn her loose. You have no authority. Father God, we ask you to let this bring glory to you and we're going to give you all the praise and the glory for it for it's in Christ Jesus holy name we pray amen amen and amen I believe that prayer was for well it's for anybody with cancer but uh, the lady he was talking about was Carlina Keys uh so thank you, Apostle, for obeying the Lord. Amen. That's what we've been hollering and crying yep. for the men of God to do. When no when they is. feel that burn, he felt the urge. He said, I felt the urge. Had to call. You call. Right. These phone lines remain open. You can call anytime. You, you